Welcome everyone to Houston News. Today is February the 12th, 2019. This is the home of the two minute price prediction as well as giving you all the news according to the charts. We're going to talk about Binance paired against USD. Before I go into our analysis real quick, I definitely want to remind you all that if this is your first time coming to this channel to go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to go ahead and like and share this content as well because we're giving you all the news according to the charts the only organization out there giving you this different perspective and what we expect these different cryptocurrencies to do now if this is of interest to you and how we're able to determine price prediction before the market actually moves the uncomplicated way come on over to our patreon page because we do a daily cryptocurrency analysis for the top 10 cryptocurrencies paired against btc the link is going to be in the description of this video if you're interested it is only three dollars a month that is minimal compared to the amount of information that we're giving all of our members there. Again, go ahead and go to our website as well, hughfinancial.com. We got a lot of other information posted on that website for you all too, because we are giving you something different that the ordinary outdated financial markets is not giving you all. So now looking at Binance, okay, the, the thumbnail read, the bullish run is over for Binance. That is the question. That is what we're going to try to distinguish and answer today on this video. Okay. If you guys been looking at Binance, it has been on a tear ever since the beginning of 2019. The market actually broke out of consolidation around that $6 to $7 price. And now what I have drawn on this chart is what I'm expecting the market to try to do in Binance. Okay. That $10 price is the midpoint for Binance. The upper resistance area is going to be around $11. Okay. Now, what we've seen in the market ever since I would say the beginning of February is a glaring indication that the market is getting a lot of volume. We have not seen this much volume in Binance ever. Okay. The last time we've seen this much volume coming into the market was probably around March of 2018, give or take. So for us to see this volume coming into the market now only trading at ten dollars nine and a half nine dollars and fifty cents was the same time that we were also seeing the market in Binance trade at that price. But in the background in Binance, we were all the way up here at twenty four dollars, twenty two dollars per cryptocurrency. This time we came from under and now we finally came back to that ten dollar price. So. That is one of the reasons that you need to take in consideration as to why the bullish move in Binance can be over. Today, we are seeing some increases of sellers coming into the market. The three hour chart shows you where the sellers came in. The buyers are still there. OK, I'm telling you that now that that nine dollar price is trying to be maintained as a support area in Binance. But the three hour bars are still reflecting weakness. OK, I'm telling you that now as well. So the one hour chart shows us the same thing. The market is trying to hold nine dollars, nine dollars and 20 cent as support. Currently, you can still tell here that this nine dollars and 40 cent price is resistance. It was being resistance here and now we're getting resistance once again. This is all the old traditional head and shoulders pattern that so many technical traders utilize. So if you don't see Bitcoin's break above nine dollars and 40 cents, which we're not seeing currently at this present time, the market will break below nine dollars and move lower in price. Considering the fact that the market is having a, a harder time breaking above nine dollars and 40 cents. Ultimately, ten dollars is the resistance area. It is forecasted for Binance to continue to move lower. Now on a probability basis, okay, you have to do this risk adjusted type trading. We are looking for Binance to move lower, but I had to throw in that if the market can hold support, $9.20, even $9, we will maintain this consolidation and then eventually try to break above $10 at a later time. Right now, we're not seeing that occurring in the market for Binance. But once I conclude this video, it is definitely probable that the market will maintain $9.20 and move higher. Weakness is here, though. So that's why I'm forecasting the market in Binance to continue to move to the downside. But again, $9.20, $9 can be support. Okay. 
that's our analysis for Binance. Uh, currently, with the question that we're posing to you all, is the bullish move over for Binance? Right now, it looks like it is because it has some resistance areas that we have to overcome in order to move to the upside, which is not being revealed on these price charts. So that's our analysis. Give us your thoughts. Give us your comments. Let us know what you expect Binance to do. Do you think it's going to continue to move higher? If so, let us know in the comments. If not, let us know that as well. Our analysis is for Binance to move lower, even though we have identified some support areas that it can hold. Make sure you all maintain your probability. I will talk to you all later.